Hey guys, welcome to Peripheral Vision, and today we're taking a look at the controller pack for the Nintendo 64. Released in 1996, this was Nintendo's answer to the PlayStation's memory card, and could save data from certain game cards. It's important to note that there are three different types of games when it came to how you can save. The first and most common type are games that have an internal save battery, which allows them to simply save everything onto the cartridge. These are games like Banjo-Kazooie and Pokemon Stadium. The second type are games that are only able to save with the help of the controller pack. These are less common and are usually third-party games. Examples include titles such as Quest 64 and Gauntlet Legends. Finally, we have games that can save internally, but certain aspects of the game can be saved onto a controller pack. An example of this is Mario Kart 64, which saves the data for what trophies you have internally, but requires a controller pack to save the Ghost Racer data. Now with that out of the way, let's check out the controller pack menu. Here's how you get to the controller pack's menu. First, you take the controller pack and slide it into the back of your Nintendo 64 controller. Then, you place your game into the N64, hold start on your controller, and turn on the power. So this is the menu where you can erase your save data if you need. As you can see, there's already my Mario Kart 64 data on this. The way the pack stores data is that each game you save is a note. So this first note has all the data from Mario Kart 64. Each note is made up of pages. This one takes up 121 pages, so it's actually pretty massive. There are 16 slots for notes and a total of 123 pages worth of space on the standard Nintendo brand controller pack. If you were to have two controller packs, you would be able to copy data from one to another. Out of the various add-ons that could be connected to your controller, I think this one is the least interesting, and the least useful. I mean, it has things it does, and it does them effectively, but I just can't see a person getting the amount of fun you would out of a rumble pack, or the practical usefulness of a transfer pack. I pretty much only own one because I'm a collector, and if you're not, I wouldn't bother with it. 